From time to time customers ask why there is a difference between our prices and competitors' prices. I'll try to clarify for you this point. This is a microtransmitter, cast in a plastic box. It is one of our competitors' bugs. We got this transmitter from a customer who bought it, and it was dead on arrival. He asked me to fix it for him. At the end of this clip, I'll show you the real device, as a proof that we are not trying to cheat you or showing you just pictures from the web. We have the real devices, and they'll be shown at the end of the explanations. The main problem is of course the coils. They are made of copper wire, which stretch and extend, depending on temperature. Special RF inductors, shielded, for UHF should be used. We always stand for the wise sentence. What you pay is what you get. This is another transmitter from the same seller. It is using exactly the same design, however it is using a battery holder which fits a CR2032 battery. It fits just one battery, 3 volts. I'll blur the not relevant part, leaving the real problematic one. Yes. Again, the same problem, the crucial problem is the coils stage. I marked the coils using red arrows. The main problem on narrow band FM, UHF, is maintaining the frequency steady, without drift. Using copper coils is not suitable at this point, as, a, the copper coils don't have mechanical strength, and are influenced by any shock, for example if the unit falls. B, they are temperature dependent, the frequency drifts as soon as the temperature changes. A high quality CR20, 32 battery has a capacitance of approximately 60 mAh. This device draws about 15 mAh. Assuming that the battery keeps all this time 3 volts, the transmission will last for about 4 hours, right? However, the battery we used dropped to 2 volts in about 2 hours. The distance was limited to only 25 meters, and suddenly the device reached the limit and stopped transmitting. As promised, here is one of the pieces of art. I'll use it showing the problematic design of this bug. I did large efforts to fix it, and I'll show you what was wrong with it. The plastic box looks nice. The microphone is connected to a cable. An on off switch. Let's open the box. Inside, we see the known design, and here are the pads which are connected to the CR2032 battery. We'll see what's hiding under on the bottom side. Yes, the same wire coils. The coil stretches and expand during temperature changes, and this is the reason of a large frequency drift. The coils must be shielded RF, high frequency ones, and not a homemade coil. This is the low quality obsolete component. I see it's moving. Let's see. Maybe this is the problem. Well, yes, it is easily coming out. This is a component which was supposed to be soldered very well to the PCB. Here it is out. It is difficult to see, 
but are guide rail holes in the PCB, and they actually shorts this component. I'll zoom it a little bit. As you see, there are no miracles. What you pay, is what you get.